Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with a word for today. And the word for today is want. Ask the Lord for what you want. He is a loving Father, and He knows what we need before we ask. He's a loving Father, and He meets our every need. So what do you want? Make sure that what you want is what He wants. Make sure that you are in agreement with God and His Word, and then ask for what you want. Now, let's be clear. God's not an ATM machine. God's an if-then God. We see this in Leviticus today. He says, you have done what the Lord commanded, so you will see the Lord's glory. When we believe God and obey God, it puts us in position to see the Lord's glory. That's his presence and his power. The fire came down, consumed the offering. The people shouted for joy. They fell on their faces. Let your fire fall, Lord. See, obedience puts us in position to receive what we want disobedience removes us from the place of the blessing of being able to receive what we want. The Lord gives us what we want when we do what he says. I mean, it's so simple. And to have what we want, there's some things that we've got to remember. We must regard the Lord as holy. We must respect him. We must give him honor before all the people. We must bes- distinguish between the holy and the unholy, the clean and un- the unclean. We must distinguish between the flesh and the spirit. We must distinguish between the natural and the supernatural. Now, all of this stuff is encapsulated in one simple idea, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord leads us to receive what we want. Now, one of the main ways we discover the fear of the Lord and how to walk in it is through worship. And in Psalms today, it says, remain steady in worship. Worship him in spirit and in truth with our entire being. And as we receive revelation from God in worship, God changes our desires to match his so that he can give us what we want. Worship brings us the revelation that Jesus is greater than all. Worship brings us the revelation that Jesus must become greater in our lives and we must become less important. This is really key. And as I submit to God, as I delight myself in Jesus, he gives me the desires of my heart. Now, I believe this works in both ways. He changes the desires that I have to line up with his desires, and then he gives them to me. He gives me what I want. I believe that God wants more for us than we are currently experiencing. How about you? I believe that God wants more for us than we want for ourselves. So what do you want? tell you what I want. I want a move of the Holy Spirit, signs, wonders, miracles, gifts of the Spirit that usher thousands of people into his kingdom right here on the Big Island and several hundred of them right here in Kona Faith Center. I want to impact our community through providing an educational experience that puts God first and helps KK become who God made them to be. I want to build a new building to house all these people. I want to make disciples who make disciples. I want to develop and train the next generation of leaders. How do I do that? Believe and obey Jesus, Jason. Let your fire fall today, Lord. The word for today is want. God bless. Check in tomorrow.